Saturday was a little bit rough for me. I was riding a little bit shaky early on and just couldn't find my groove right away. Coming into section four, when I hit the first rock, I noticed my bike wasn't running right and took a point. I knew what the problem was since I've had it happen once before. It was the one-way valve coming out of the fuel tank, just wasn't allowing the tank to ventilate right. So I stopped midsection and ripped that off. I knew that would make the bike run better, but I didn't expect so much gas to come shooting out of the tank directly at me. So it was very tough to ignore all the fuel splashing at me and continue on with the section, but I didn't want to take a five, so I rode it out for a one. After that, the bike ran perfect, and I finished out the loop with a couple more points, even though the sections were very difficult and had some really big obstacles. Loop two, I had two big mistakes. The first one on section four again, and the last big rock, when I took off, I just started to lose my balance to the right. I didn't quite make it to the very top of the rock and ended up falling pretty hard onto my shoulder. I actually knocked the wind out of myself for a second, but I was all good and, and continued on after that. I took another five on section nine. I was a little bit disappointed going from ones on the first loop to fives on the second, so I really wanted to erase those mistakes for the third loop. I felt really good on the third loop. I was gaining confidence and getting really comfortable with how well the Dunlop tires hook up on these grippy rocks. There were quite a few difficult sections, but I was able to clean everything besides one spot that was just a bit dangerous, so I actually took a safety dab. I don't like doing that, but I did all three loops just to save myself the chance of falling off a pretty big clip to the left. I was really happy with a one-point loop. To be able to realize my mistakes from the second loop and fix them for the third was just a great feeling and something that keeps me coming back to more competition. Saturday was a good event for me. Um, there was a lot of big obstacles up here in Colorado. They had a lot of big rocks for us to ride over, and it was a lot of loose gravel along uh, on the takeoffs as well. So that made it pretty tough. And being from the East Coast in Louisville, I don't have a lot of big stuff to, to ride on like the gnarly sections they had out for here. So I, I struggled to get with it, you know, for the first couple loops. But by the third loop, I had some really good rides and was getting up a lot of big stuff. So I was, I was pretty happy with that. Saturday uh, was really gnarly. Um, started out uh, just trying to get through the sections. I mean, um, they were, like I said, really gnarly and big, and uh, a lot of them were pretty dangerous, to be honest. So just trying to survive and uh, get through as many as possible. I made it through the day and uh, ended up fifth. Uh, honestly, Saturday was a bit of a train wreck of a day. I was having some bike issues in the second loop um, and got quite a few fives from that and points. I already didn't feel very good that day, wasn't riding loose or comfortable. Um, third loop was able to finish fairly strong, but uh, I mean the day was already gone and trashed, <laughs> but uh, still had fun, had a good time, and I was glad we were able to fix the bike problems for the next day. Uh, Saturday started off a little bit shaky. I, I wasn't really able to hit my marks as much. I was taking a lot of silly dabs that was unnecessary, but in the end, um, it all came together and uh, ended up beating Alex by a couple of points and uh, was able to edge him out and get the, get the win. Saturday wasn't quite the result I was looking for. Every loop, I had a five somewhere that I didn't really need it, and overall that added up, and uh, overall I ended up losing to Josh because of those fives. And I mean, other than that, my riding was pretty spot on. Uh, little dabs here and there, but overall I gotta be happy with it. Saturday was a really good day for me. Um, there were a few sections where a 125 really struggled in the high altitude, but uh, overall it was a good day and I rode well and had fun, so that's what it's all about. The sections on Sunday were a bit easier and quite a bit less dangerous. There were still a lot of tough spots and most of them had multiple lines. I had a lot of fun picking my own lines and not necessarily riding what everyone else was doing. I ended up cleaning sections 1 through 11 on the first two loops and had a 1 on section 7 on the third loop where I just didn't quite get the rebound and ended up losing my balance on top of the rock. Section 12 was definitely the hardest. It started with a big wall going up, but coming down was where it got nearly impossible. It was a really big steep drop into loose sand and loose rocks, and we had to stop and get turned within about 15 feet. And the first two loops, I was just barely able to stop right on the ribbon and pushed it out a little bit. But then the third loop, it was so loose, all the sand had gotten pushed past down below the ribbon, and I just couldn't get stopped for that one. So unfortunately, took a five there in my last loop, last ride of the day. It was a bit of a bummer to end the day that way, but I got to be happy with my riding over the weekend, and I have a few little weaknesses I need to work on before Tennessee, but look forward to doing that over the break and come back stronger. Sunday was a good day for me. I started out feeling really confident, and so I kind of led the pro pack, riding a lot of sections first and everything like that, which is rare for me. Usually I want to watch other people ride it and see, see how the obstacles go, but 
I took the lead and, and started riding sections ahead of everyone just because I, I was feeling confident and felt like I could ride all the obstacles. I didn't need to see other people do it before and uh, sometimes that gets in my head so I wanted to get ahead of everyone and, and ride that well. And then my second loop was kind of a struggle. I had five fives and came up short in a lot of obstacles and it put me back a little bit but then my third loop I, I rode like a, I knew I could and got a lot of cleans and got through almost every section except for a stall and uh, trying to stop on section 12 which was really hard but I was pretty happy with my performance for Sunday. Sunday had a really slow start got a lot of points that I didn't need and um, got some fives I didn't need but I uh, brought it back a little better on the second loop had uh, some really good rides um, got through a lot of stuff that I messed up the first loop and uh, third loop it was getting really tired I think the altitude got to me and I kind of hit a wall and uh, just pushed through it and got through the rest of the day and I uh, came up a little bit short, a few points short of fifth place. Sunday was much better. I had a lot of fun, felt loose, comfortable. I dropped way less points than I did yesterday. Uh, still wasn't able to get the win. I had a few big mistakes. Um, a second and third loop, I had two fives that I really just didn't need and a couple just points there and there. They're just I needed to pick those up and I didn't, but um, like I said, a lot better than the day before. And again, still just had a lot of fun and a good time. Sunday was pretty successful for me. I was really happy with how I rode. I only ended the day with uh, two marks. Um, I was I felt really solid on the bike, was able to hit all my points. Now I'm looking forward to the East Coast rounds and thanks to everyone who supported me. Sunday started off pretty strong. I had just a little bobble on the first loop and uh, not a bad score, but going into the second loop, uh, I made a lot more mistakes. I ended up with 11 points on that, which wasn't what I was looking for. And on the third loop, I finally put the pieces together and ended with a two-point loop. And uh, I'm really happy with that. But, you know, Josh got the win again and got to look forward to TTC. Sunday was also a really solid day for me. Uh, I had lots of fun on the bike, and there were a few, uh, there were a few big walls that 125s had to hit. But uh, I got up them, and I'm happy uh, with my results. And on to uh, Tennessee. Have fun. Will Myers. <laughs> Alexander Myers. <laughs> Josh Roper. <laughs> Kylie Sweet. Pass Maji. <laughs>